welcome to this week's Wisdom Wednesday. I want to give you a challenge, spreading kindness. I've noticed a lot recently, although there's a lot of bad news being spread and negativity on social media, there's also been a rise of people spreading kindness and spreading positivity and that is actually a very powerful thing that although we can't go out and we have to self-isolate that we can still be kind and that kindness could change your life today. So I want to challenge you, how can you spread kindness in your world? Maybe you could message a friend and tell them that you're missing them to encourage them or maybe you could share a local business that you know is struggling to keep open, share their products with the people on your social media. Maybe you could just message a family member and let them know just how much they mean to you. Let's be kindness spreaders. How can you spread kindness today? Comment below what you've done. Since lockdown started, I have set myself a little challenge every day of trying to spend a bit of time with my phone switched off. I don't mean on silent. I don't mean face down next to me. I mean completely off in another room and just spending that time maybe doing something different that doesn't involve my phone or sometimes it means spending that time just doing absolutely nothing. Sometimes I've stuck to it, sometimes I've not. But the days that I have, I've found that that time without my phone on is a time when my mind can really reset. I get a lot of peace in my mind and I just wanted to set you a little challenge of why not give it a go? Turn your phone off for an hour, it could be 30 minutes, it could be 20 minutes. Just switch your phone off, leave it in another room and spend that time maybe doing something else doesn't involve your phone or spend that time doing nothing just chilling out give it a go and let me know how you find it hi guys so while, how are you doing with self-isolation are you the type of person that has been really grumpy and fed up of it or are you being quite thankful i know sometimes for me um, i can choose to be really negative every day and think of all the, the the bad things about it but i want to encourage you to try and be thankful in all situations a few years ago I was going through a really difficult time and I found that every day I was just being really grumpy and I was thinking oh there's nothing good happening in my life at the moment and I decided what I'd do is take a picture every day of one thing from that day that I was really thankful for and I posted it on Facebook and I realised that every day there was something to be thankful for and I managed to do 365 days of something to be thankful for. I want to encourage you to do the same thing. What are you thankful for? And I want you to, I want to encourage you to take a picture of it and tag at YFC Warrington in it. What are you thankful for at the moment during self-isolation? To Wisdom Wednesday. Today's question is, what have you been doing in your daily outdoor activities? Well, I've been going for long walks along the canal, getting some fresh air, experiencing the environment and discovering more about nature. So my tip today is take a walk outside and experience the environment and how it's changing for yourself. Perhaps have a break from your homework for a while. Just be outside. The story about the famous tightrope walker Charles Blondin, who was stood on the US side of the Niagara Falls this particular time. He'd crossed many, many times before, but he'd said to the 10,000 crowd this particular day, I am the great Charles Blondin. Do you believe that I can put someone on my back and carry them from the US side to the Canadian side and back? 10,000 people shouted back, we believe. Which one of you, Charles Blondin replied, will be that person? To which there was deadly silence across the crowd. His business manager, not wanting the thing to go down the tube, stepped forward, got on Blondin's bound and inched his way from one side of the falls to the other. And the point of that story today is that are you willing to step out of the crowd? Not to follow Blondin, but one greater than Blondin, the Lord God who created the Niagara Falls and everything else on planet Earth who wants a relationship with you.